Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha, and today we're going to be discussing the topic of what a duck represents in a dream and what it can represent. So um, getting started with this, I just want to review a dream really quick. Um, and it wasn't my dream, it's someone else's dream, but it's applicable to this. So in the dream, the person was looking in the sky and it was clear, beautiful, vi vibrant blue sky. They look and they hear a storm is coming. They hear a voice, a storm is coming. And they look and there's no clouds. So they turn around and then they hear it again. A storm is coming. So they look and there's in the sky and there's no clouds and it's just still clear blue. So they turn around to go about their business and then they hear it again. A storm is coming. And it was like imminent uh, that this was going to happen and it was dangerous. But the third time they turn around, they see this huge duck in the sky flying and it flies over them. And that was the dream. So what do you think that means? So let's look at that. So it was, you want to pay attention to any time there's like threes or twos or something like God said, uh, Samuel, Samuel, or even when he repeats something three times, three is going to be a, wit a, a, a witness uh, to something that is actually going to happen. It's a surety of a judgment that will come forth, whether good or bad. Two is a number witness, but if it's three, it's solidified. So, and it could be tied to a timing, which we believe it was tied to a timeline. Because um, when you think about Joseph interpreting the cupbearer and the um, the baker's dream as well, this three tied to time. So it was going to happen. The storm was coming. The storm was not wicked. It wasn't, you know, dark or um dull it was bright so it was from the lord but it was going to happen so what does the duck represent in this dream well the duck was flying over her and when she we talked about the dream she was thinking about she was reminded of the aflac duck and um there's a insurance company that uses a duck um aflac and the slogan is we've got you covered so the sum of the dream was there is a storm coming. There's a time associated to it. It's from the Lord, but don't worry. I've got you covered. And sometimes the Lord can be punny that way. It was, was kind of funny to look at. But anyhow, so what else could a duck represent in a dream? So we oh, just went over that it could be a, a, a pun, um, but just highlighting and um, adding on to that, we've got you covered. So protection, right? And the reason it can represent protection, not just because of the Aflac duck and that protection and coverage, but uh, this is actually a word that is used a couple of different ways in defining it. A duck is actually actually also a woven, a heavily woven gar uh, fabric that is used um, for clothing. And so if you have, if you're walking in something that's a duck hard to penetrate, so that's a layer of protection from what, for what you're walking in. So you see the parallel there with the Aflac duck coverage, and then also the word duck relating to fabric, what you walk in, and it being very heavily woven, um, hard to penetrate, a layer of protection there. The word duck also represents a military truck that was used in World War II. And when you think about a military truck, a truck, and if it's a military truck, it's going to be hard armor, the outside exterior, it's going to be a, a hard to penetrate. There you go again with that layer of protection. So it could not mean the animal. It could be a representation of other definitions that's associated to that word, like we just went over, or that um, uh, anything that is relatable within your culture are in your um, in your sphere and what you're used to. So like the Affleck duck, but also we want to look at duck is uh, a wordplay because it could mean like duck, like literally get low, like duck to avoid something. And there you go with that layer of protection. So it's all, it's, it's, you see how it's tying into some layer of protection, doing something to action that relates to protection. So if someone says duck, that means get low. So it could be a call to get low or to humble yourself. Um, like we just saw, if you were paying attention, how a former president had to drop to his knees to duck a bullet. And so that's humility. That's a representation of ducking is a level of humility. So that's a necessary step in order to go for it. And you want to look at the context of a dream to really tie that in to see what the Lord is exactly saying to you. Now, duck can also represent migration or transition of a season for a person. And the reason that is, is when you look at the life of a duck or the function of a duck, they actually migrate, but it's tied to a season. So if you're seeing a duck that is um, flying, you know, 
from one, like let's say the sky is clear and sunny and then they go into like, and you start seeing leaves like fall leaves or, you know, something of that nature, or even like fly, flying through a forest and the scene, this landscape changes. That's a migration or a transition that's happening or coming. And so you want to pay attention to that. What's, what is the seasons? What's the sky looking like? What are the elements looking like? Because it may be a transition or a migration that's coming or happening in your life. And if it's a migration, it's not just you. It's, it's like a family. Or if it's a lot of ducks, then that's going to be not just pertaining to you, but it's going to be pertaining to other f- people that will be affected. Now, another element you want to think about is a duck can actually represent a spiritually balanced person who is high functioning in the things of God. The reason that is, is a duck is able to occupy as they fly, but also in the water. So they fly in the sky, they're able to go fly through the air, which represents spiritual things and spiritual um, revelation and aspects of what functioning in the spirit, but also in the water, they're able to dive deep. So go deep into the things of the Lord, able to function in the water, the um, things of the Holy Spirit, diving in the water, going into the depths, digging up those treasures and be, being able to function in that realm as well. And then they also function on the land. So that's uh, talking to or speaking to someone who's able to function, not just in the spirit. They live in the spirit because you see they're in the sky and in the water most of their life, but they can function on the land land as well. So they are able, they're well balanced spiritually to function and live their life in different realms, but they're, they can be very grounded as well. So you want to think about that. It could be represent, represent, representing a person who is highly functioning in the spirit and who is mature. Now, one other element you want to look at is um, when you think about a duck, they don't retain water, meaning if you, if they're able to move through the water so well because the water actually rolls off of them. So it doesn't affect them. So it could be, depending on the context of a dream, um, like let's say if the dream, you see a duck and there's dirt on the duck, but it's not sticking. Or, you know, if it's your duck and, or, you know, just think about those kind of elements. The whole gist of that is they are not affected by their environment, meaning they're unoffendable. So it could be a representation of being someone or something or you even being unoffendable by the circumstances or the thing that you're in. So that could be an aspect you want to look at as well. But anyways, those are just some general things to think about when you're looking at your dreams and trying to understand them and really take it to the Holy Spirit, like I always say, because he's going to help you. He wants you to understand. But these are just things to think about to give you a foundation to kind of start thinking and turning those wheels uh, with the Lord to understand your dreams. So I hope that was helpful. And um, go ahead and leave comments about dreams you've had that pertain to ducks, what type of ducks you had uh, had in your dream. Cause that's important too. If it's a mallard duck, those are, that's going to be telling because they actually, the, the male mallard duck doesn't stay with their mate for life. They'll, they'll stay for a little bit and then they end up leaving. Um, so that could be speaking to a mentality or even someone in your life that may be that way. But anyhow, I won't keep this going. Uh, Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.